Hey everyone, Manish Gajic here and in this video we will talk about the Wounded Medium Tech Bag and I'm also making videos about the Small Tech Bag, D1 Fanny Pack and Premium Accessory Straps from Wounded as the Polish distributors of Wounded product FDirect sent me all of those to test out and since I get to keep it, this video is marked as an ad but this is not affecting my opinion about the product and they didn't have any control of the content of this video. The Wounded Medium Tech Bag costs about $49 or 49 euros and it comes in eight different colors so you can choose one that suits you best. I chose the gorgeous Dallo Yellow as I have a black Wounded Provoke 21 Leap backpack and I wanted to add a little bit of color to it and I think those two colors go really well together. The bag is made out of really nice high quality premium materials and I believe that thanks to that it will last us for a very long time. I have it since January 2023, use it quite a bit and I haven't had any issues with it. And the zippers are really nice as well, they are YKK zippers so probably the best zippers you can get over here. The bag has a volume of 2 liters, weighs about 170 grams and has the dimensions you can see on the screen. We have two side handles that will help us carry the bag when using it on its own and I actually use it like this quite a lot but more about how I'm using it later. There's also a bottom handle that is great when we want to take something out of the bag while holding it giving us the extra security and I actually really like that. We also have six webbing loops that we can use to attach the back to all sorts of things and I actually attach it to my Wounded Provoke 21 liter backpack when I'm out and about and I usually use the smaller ones but I believe the larger ones will be great for attaching it to the larger bags like the Wounded Provoke 31, 41 or others. I actually attach it to the backpack with two gatekeeper clips that are also included with the back and they are super secure and work really great with webbing loops on the front of my Wounded Provoke 21 liter backpack. You can also use these webbing loops to attach a special carry strap sold separately, transform it into sling bag or fanny pack. Lovely solution, however, I've not tried it as I actually use the Wounded D1 fanny pack for this purpose and I actually made another video about it, so if you're interested, check it out. On the front, we have a separate pocket that we can open with a zipper, with a nice zipper pull, and it's fleece lined, so I believe it would be nice for a smartphone or other delicate things that we don't want to scratch up. Other than that, we have a main compartment, which matches the outside color of the bag, and when using the lighter colors, including the yellow I have, that helps us see what's inside much easier than if it was black. Again, we can open it with a zipper that has a nice zipper pull and it opens really wide. It's split in three parts with this sort of accordion style divider, which is really nice because it adjusts to the size of the things we carry in each part. On the front of the bag, there is two pen loops, which might be useful for carrying extra pen or pencil. Other than that, there is three mesh pockets on the back wall of the bag, one larger one in the middle and two smaller ones on each side, which will be great for putting the smaller items into them. I actually use this bag as a sort of my quick camera essential accessory bag. I usually attach it to the top mounting loops on my Wounded Provoke 21 liter backpack when I'm out and about or removing it when I'm shooting in one specific location. In this situation I take it with me and put it next to me so I have all my necessary accessories at hand during a photo or recording session. In the front pocket I usually pack my camera remote and a gimbal cable and there's still lots of space left. I use the mesh pockets in the back for various tripod or gimbal plates or my camera clip when not using it on my backpack. And when it comes to my main compartment I usually pack all my spare batteries into two side compartments up to eight large Sony NPF-Z100 batteries and they all fit leave in the center compartment for a small bag with the different sizes of hex keys as well as my memory card wallet and I top it off with two cleaning cloths. And it's actually a lot of stuff I can fit in there which was a little bit of a surprise to me to be honest. Of course you can put all the things in the back too, I just wanted to give you an idea on how much you can put into it. Overall I really love this bag and I have been using it all the time since I got it and I could easily recommend it if after this video you think you would find it useful for yourself. 
as usually i will leave the links to the back in the video description if you have any questions have something to add or want to let me know what you think please head to the comment section below where i'd love to chat with you and if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future content similar to this one i will also be grateful if you follow me on instagram where i try to post daily about what's up with me and what i'm currently working on i think this is everything for this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye